in San Diego history. Ever since Marines from the Sloop of War Cyan seized Old Town during the Mexican-American War in 1846. Marines have been stationed at the Recruit Depot since 1921, when most of the buildings here front were constructed. These buildings, known as the Arcade, were designed by world-famous architect Bertram Goodhue. The Arcade is among 25 buildings that have qualified for inclusion on the National Register of Historic Places and are outstanding examples of Spanish colonial revival architecture. Since 1923, more than a million Marines have completed their recruit training here at the Marine Corps Recruit Depot San Diego, and since 1915 at the Marine Corps East Coast Recruit Training Depot at Harris Island, South Carolina. Regardless of where a Marine attended boot camp, you can rest assured that they received the toughest and most physically and mentally demanding recruit training offered anywhere in the world. Some individual techniques and methods may have evolved over the years, but the focus and adherence to our core values of honor, courage, and commitment are as strong today as any time in our history. Today, the Marines of Company E accept the responsibilities to safeguard this proud tradition as they step forward to join this rich heritage. Ahead of them lie bright futures that will no doubt add to the proud Marine legacy that they now rightfully claim as their own. Corporal Manny is a three-year-old full-blooded English Bulldog born in Fallbrook, California on July 9, 2018. He is named in honor of Sergeant Johnny R. Manuelito Sr., one of the original 29 Navajo Code Talkers who trained in the first all-Navajo platoon here aboard the depot in 1942. Sergeant Manuelito helped create the code that the Navajos developed at Camp Elliott, now Marine Corps Air Station Miramar. He became an instructor, teaching other Navajo Marines the Navajo Code. Later, Sergeant Manuelito participated in the Battle of Iwo Jima, where a Marine Signals Officer stated, had it not been for the Code Talkers, we would have never taken Iwo Jima. Corporal Manny continues the tradition of a long line of Marine Corps Bulldog mascots, dating back to 1921, when Brigadier General Smedley Butler appointed Sergeant Major Jiggs as the first Bulldog mascot for Marine Corps Barracks Quantico. He's being escorted by the Office of Communication Strategy and Operations, Corporal Max J. Noel. Spiritual development plays an important part in the making of a United States Marine. Lieutenant Commander Ulysses L. Yabalde, Chaplain Corps, United States Navy, will deliver the graduation prayer. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise. Let us pray. Gracious Father, we pray you for this wonderful day as we come together to celebrate the achievement of these United States Marines. This is a special day in the life of these graduates. As they embark on the next chapter in their lives, we pray that the same hand that has kept them thus far will continue to be in their lives. May God's hand of protection be upon them, and may God's word continue to be a light unto their path. Help them to make wise decisions, and to always give you first in everything what they do, and to always give you first in everything they do. Father, we humbly pray to guide and guard our New Year's Marines who will serve our country. Help and strengthen them in their righteous struggle for the preservation of liberty and justice for all. Make all ever mindful of their duty to our country and fill them with courage and loyalty. Finally, Lord, we are grateful for all the officers and drill instructors who trained our New Year's Marines. We pray to protect, guide, and watch them and their families. Fill them with your love, compassion, and your radiance. 
We ask this in your holy name. Amen. Thank you. Please be seated. The Commanding General, Marine Corps Crew Depot San Diego, welcomes you to what is a historic event in the life of a Marine, their graduation from boot camp. Approximately 40 weeks each year for the past 100 years, new Marines have departed San Diego for service with units of the Marine Corps around the globe. The primary mission of the Recruit Depot is to provide basic training to recruits enlisted west of the Mississippi, which represents approximately 51% of all applicants in the Marine Corps each year. The Depot is also home to Recruiter School, and Drill Instructor School. All our efforts here are geared toward one end, producing America's finest fighting force, the United States Marines. This morning, Company E, 2nd Recruit Training Battalion, Recruit Training Regiment, will form to march in the parade. Following the pass and review, the graduating Marines will return front and center of the reviewing stand for final dismissal. The staff for today's parade is comprised of Marines from the Recruit Training Regiment. The Commander of Troops is Captain Derek A. Buck, Company Commander, Company E, 2nd Recruit Training Battalion. The Parade Adjutant is Captain Max Vomard, Executive Officer, Company E, 2nd Recruit Training Battalion, Recruit Training Regiment. The marching units are now being called to attention and the adjutant's command, sound adjutant's call, will begin today's parade. Marching in today's parade are 205 of the graduating Marines from Company E. Among the 205 Marines are two Marines who displayed outstanding performances in two individually graded events. Private Isaac M. Canode from Platoon 2105 is the company high shooter, scoring a 337 out of 350. Private Nicholas I. C. from Platoon 2101 is the most physically fit Marine scoring a 300 out of 300 on the physical fitness test and the combat fitness test. They will be receiving awards from the Marine Corps Association and Foundation. Present today is the company honor graduates recruiter, Sergeant Angel Segovia. Not present today, but still worth recognizing, is the primary marksmanship instructor with a platoon high shooting average of 220 for platoon 2105, Sergeant Benjamin Jones. Recruit training is comprised of subjects required to produce basic Marines who function effectively in garrison, are trained in rudimentary individual field and combat skills, and practice the personal and professional traits which distinguish them as Marines. Examples of these traits are Discipline The achievement of a state of discipline which assures respect for authority, instant and willing obedience to orders, and the self-reliance to maintain or improve those traits which exemplify a Marine. Military bearing, consistently demonstrating military presence and personal awareness, as well as the proper wearing and maintenance of uniforms. Esprit de corps, acquiring the common spirit of the Marine Corps that inspires enthusiasm, devotion, pride, initiative, teamwork, aggressiveness, determination, moral courage, integrity, camaraderie, and the burning desire to work with and for others toward excellence in common goals. For 246 years, Marines have fought and won whenever and wherever the nation calls. In the harshest conditions, over the most brutal terrain, and against the most formidable enemies, Marines defend the ideals of freedom with grit and tenacity. Though battlefields change and capabilities evolve, history proves that true victory comes from the individual Marine with steeled resolve, the drive to overcome any obstacle, and the warrior spirit to fight on against all odds. It takes that steadfast faithfulness 
Semper Fidelis, to core, country, and each other that abounds throughout our storied legacy. Marines today remain in combat, forward deployed throughout the world, confronting every challenge with courage, loyalty, and faithfulness. They are resolved to be most ready when the nation is least ready, to defend freedom anytime and anywhere, to stand ready to aid those devastated by natural disasters, to pay tribute to those who have forged our proud legacy, and to honor the families and loved ones who faithfully stand beside us. For the Marines of Company E, today marks the end of the 13-week recruit training cycle. They have marched countless miles at Camp Pendleton and on this parade deck, and have been trained, as are all Marines, as basic riflemen. In addition, due to an intensive physical training program, their strength and endurance have doubled since their arrival aboard the recruit depot. Their Marines qualified to take their places in the ranks of the world's finest fighting organization. The platoons are now being aligned from left to right in order to get them into their exact positions for the parade. The next portion of the ceremony will be our national anthem. We welcome veterans and members of the armed forces to join us in rendering appropriate honors with a military salute. For guests who have not served in the military, it is proper etiquette during the national anthem to place their right hand over their hearts and for those in the audience wearing headgear to remove it. Will the guests please rise for the presentation of the colors. Ladies and gentlemen, our national anthem.
Thank you. Please be seated. Following the command, Parade Rest, the Parade Adjutant will give the command sound off, which signals the band to parade board of the assembled Marines while playing military marching music.
The parade adjutant now presents the assembled command to the commander of troops. At the command, Officer Center March. All unit commanders and guidon bearers march to the front and center of the formation. Historically, it was at this point that commanding officers would issue orders and instructions to the unit commanders. Following this, the unit leaders would face about, return to their units, and pass the information along to their Marines.
Throughout our nation's history, millions of men and women have earned the title United States Marine. Men who have helped shape our history join us here today. In keeping with the tradition of once a Marine, always a Marine, we would like to recognize them. At this time, those in the audience who have served as Marines, please rise. Ladies and gentlemen, a round of applause for their dedicated service to Corps and country. Thank you. Please be seated. Ladies and gentlemen, the Battalion Commander for 2nd Recruit Training Battalion, Lieutenant Colonel James R. Smith. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. On behalf of Brigadier General Jason L. Morris, the Commanding General of the Marine Corps Recruit Depot San Diego in the Western Recruiting Region, as well as on behalf of Colonel Joseph W. Jones, the Commanding Officer of the Recruit Training Regiment, welcome to the graduation of Company E. I'd like to begin today by recognizing a few groups. First and foremost, the families of these new Marines. Thank you for your love and support on their journey to this momentous day. You laid the foundation which allowed them to take the initial steps towards becoming a Marine. Your love and support sustained them during their training here and will continue to be a source of strength in their new vocation. Welcome to the Marine Corps family. To the families of the Company E staff, seated to the right of the reviewing stand, no one knows more than you the time and dedication it takes to transform a civilian into a Marine. Sergeant Major and I are deeply grateful for your sacrifice and support that enables these drill instructors and officers to perform this critical task. Ladies and gentlemen, a round of applause for the families of the Company E. I'd also like to recognize our parade reviewing official, Colonel Fay, whose impressive bio you will hear shortly, and who currently serves as the Assistant Chief of Staff G4 at Marine Corps Recruit Depot San Diego. Sir, it's an honor to have you. Thank you for being here. You know, making Marines is truly a team effort, and at the forefront of that effort are Marine recruiters stationed across this great country. These men and women work tirelessly to identify, educate, and inspire the next generation of Marines. They're represented today by Sergeant Segovia of Recruiting Substation Santa Ana, California, who is responsible for guiding our company honor graduate, Lance Corporal Lorenzo, into our Corps. Our other teammate in this endeavor are the instructors at Weapons Field Training Battalion, responsible for teaching the combat skills necessary to fight and win in any climb and place. They are represented by Sergeant Jones, the primary marksmanship instructor for the company's high shooter, Private First Class Canode. Ladies and gentlemen, a round of applause for our recruiters and our combat instructors. Well done. The last group I'd like to recognize certainly need no introduction, for everyone knows the distinct campaign cover of a legendary Marine Corps drill instructor. From the moment a recruit arrives here, there is a drill instructor with them 24 hours a day, seven days a week, tirelessly instilling the qualities and esprit de corps of a United States Marine and leaving an indelible mark on those they lead. Trust me, your Marine will never forget the name, the face, or that gentle, loving voice of their drill instructors. Are these Marines behind me? are on average 19-year-old high school graduates, and six have college degrees. They come to us from every state and territory in the Western Recruiting Region and seven countries around the world, as far away as Hungary and Thailand. And when they raised their right hand and swore an oath to support and defend the Constitution of the United States, they differentiated themselves from 99% of their peers. Upon arrival, these drill instructors forged them in the fires of martial discipline, and shape their minds and bodies in the mold of generations of Marines who have come before. They prove themselves worthy by carrying heavy loads, long distances over mountainous terrain with minimal food and sleep to be where they're needed, when they're needed, to accomplish any mission. Now you may have noticed some change in your new Marine. They stand a little taller, look a little leaner, sport an outstanding Marine Corps haircut. And moms and dads, I promise they know how to make their beds. But the truly important change is the one that's taken place inside. For they have been immersed in our core values of honor, courage, and commitment. And by virtue of standing here today, they've embraced those as their own. And it is because of this, because of the journey they've undergone, 
because of the moral, mental, and physical development they have displayed that I am pleased to present 205 young men who can forever proudly claim the title United States Marine. And now I'd like to just address them one time. Good morning, Marines. Sergeant Major and I are incredibly proud of you. We've watched you learn, strive, and grow these past months, and we are pleased to welcome you to our ranks. When you arrived here, you affirmed a commitment of selfless service to our Corps. These drill instructors fanned a flame inside of you, and now we trust you will keep it burning bright. You can be justifiably proud of what you've accomplished here. You've earned your martial arts tan belt. Some of you learned to swim for the first time in our water survival program. And many of you overcame a fear of heights on our confidence and obstacle course. You learned weapons employment to deliver precision fire on targets from a staggering distance of 500 yards. And in a final test, you completed the grueling three-day crucible where you were required to demonstrate exemplary character, physical and mental toughness, the ability to decide, act, and communicate, leadership, and a warfighter spirit. And every Marine, past and present, expects you to use those same attributes in your future trials. And so, having completed the longest and most grueling recruit training on the globe, you stand ready to carry on the Marine Corps tradition as America's Naval Expeditionary Force in readiness. As you go forward on the next leg of your journey, I implore you to be smart, be safe, and make good decisions. Remember that that Eagle Globe and Anchor pressed into the palm of your hand atop the Reaper represents 246 years of Marines who've come before. You must always be worthy of that legacy and protect what you have earned. So on behalf of the Marines, the sailors, and the civilians here at Marine Corps Recruit Depot San Diego, let me offer you a traditional naval parting of fair winds and following seas. Congratulations, Marines. Semper Fidelis. Welcome to the Corps. Now taking their position in the reviewing area is today's parade reviewing official, Colonel Thomas M. Fay, Assistant Chief of Staff, G4, Marine Corps Recruit Depot San Diego and the Western Recruiting Region. He is accompanied by Colonel Joseph W. Jones, Commanding Officer for Recruit Training Regiment. Colonel Thomas M. Fay, Assistant Chief of Staff, G4, Marine Corps Recruit Depot San Diego and the Western Recruiting Region. Colonel Fay is a native of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. He holds a Bachelor of Arts degree from San Diego State University and a Master's degree from the U.S. Naval War College. He was commissioned through the Platoon Leaders Class in 1992. After completing the basic school, he attended Marine Corps Engineer School aboard Camp Lejeune, North Carolina, successfully earning the military occupational specialty of 1302 Combat Engineer Officer. Colonel Fay has served in a variety of challenging billets in numerous commands to include Engineer Platoon Commander at Combat Logistics Battalion 3, Executive Officer at Landing Support Company, Operations Officer at Marine Corps Recruiting Station Salt Lake City, Utah, Company Commander at 1st Combat Engineer Battalion, 1st Marine Division. Executive Officer at 12th Marine Corps Recruiting District. Commanding Officer at Marine Wing Support Squadron 373. And Commanding Officer at Combat Logistics Regiment 4. 
Colonel Fay currently serves as the Assistant Chief of Staff G4, Marine Corps Recruit Depot San Diego, and the Western Recruiting Region. His personal military decorations include the Legion of Merit with one gold star in lieu of second award, Defense Meritorious Service Medal, Bronze Star with one gold star in lieu of second award, Meritorious Service Medal with one gold star in lieu of second award, Navy and Marine Corps Commendation Medal with two gold stars in lieu of third award, Navy and Marine Corps Achievement Medal, and the Marine Corps Recruiting Ribbon. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Colonel Thomas M. Fay. More than a million Marines have been trained here in the past 100 years and have departed San Diego for combat in conflicts around the world, including places whose names are immediately associated with Marine courage and dedication. Names such as Guadalcanal, Tarawa, Iwo Jima, Pusan, Inchon, Chosen Reservoir, Quezon, Way City, Lebanon, Grenada, Panama, Kuwait, Somalia, Fallujah, Ramadi, Marjah, Sangam, and our most current operations worldwide. This parade deck is rich in history and tradition, and no Marine trained here ever forgets its sights and sounds. Ladies and gentlemen, the Commander of Troops, Captain Garrick A. Buck, Company Commander and the Regimental Staff. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, as the national flag passes directly in front of you, please rise. Once it passes, you may be seated. San Diego, Marine Corps Crew Depot, San Diego, California. Commander Captain Zachary A. Tebas and Platoon 2101. 
Senior Drill Instructor, Staff Sergeant Joseph E. Silva. Platoon 2102, Senior Drill Instructor, Staff Sergeant Hector Ramirez Mata. Platoon 2103, Senior Drill Instructor, Staff Sergeant Xavier Tunstall. Regimental Color Guard is led by the Regimental Color Sergeant, Drill Instructor Sergeant Demarcus Hill. Series 2105, Series Commander, Captain Zachary A. Tepas. Platoon 2105, Senior Drill Instructor Staff Sergeant Mason R. Vailbaum. Platoon 2106, Senior Drill Instructor Sergeant Justin Hernandez. Platoon 2107, Senior Drill Instructor Staff Sergeant Jagger E. Roche. and gentlemen, if you turn to page 21 of your graduation pamphlets, you will find the Marines Hymn. The Marines Hymn has a history dating back to 1859. It is a long-standing tradition for Marines to face the direction of the music and stand at attention when it is heard. It is now directed that all Marines present and who have served honorably, and ladies and gentlemen, you are all encouraged to join. Sing the words to the first verse as Marine Band San Diego performs, Anchors Away, followed by the Marines Hymn. Will the guests please rise? Be seated. The Marine Corps' uniqueness and strength as an elite fighting force is directly attributable to the magnificent efforts of the drill instructors and company officers who train and supervise the recruits. The distinct qualities of spirit and discipline 
the heart and soul of every Marine, have been developed, nurtured, and ingrained in recruits through their observance and relationship with their drill instructors and officers. Recruit training is the very foundation of the Corps. Each year, recruit training provides thousands of America's finest young men and women with the basic knowledge and skills to function in a profession characterized by its own set of high values and tough standards. The most important thing we do in the Marine Corps is make Marines. The individual Marine is the Corps. That is what we do here. For the Marines graduating today, the long, arduous journey of the last 13 weeks is but a small step into the future of the Marine Corps. As they prepare to fill the ranks of our Corps, they do so with unquestionable support for the high ideals and standards of the United States of America and the United States Marine Corps. Although Company E prepares for their final dismissal from boot camp today, their initial training is not over. Soon after graduation, they will report to the School of Infantry, Camp Pendleton, California, where they will continue to be trained to serve as an effective member of a Marine Rifle Squad. The intense initial training that every Marine undergoes is designed to instill the fundamental premise that every Marine is a rifleman. Ladies and gentlemen, at this time, we would like to introduce to you the Marines responsible for ensuring the success of the difficult transition required to become a Marine. The company commander is Captain Derek A. Buck. The company first sergeant is Gunnery Sergeant Matthew R. Burns. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in a round of applause for the company staff of Company E. The next portion of the ceremony will be the traditional function of retiring, the Guidons. The Guidons have been carried by the platoons throughout recruit training and are being retired to symbolize the disbanding of platoons. All similar units in the Marine Corps carry such guidons, which identify the unit and are a source of pride to each individual member. Note that the honor of carrying these guidons is bestowed upon those Marines who display outstanding leadership qualities, motivation, and character, and were selected as the platoon honor graduates. The platoon honor graduates compete for the titles of series and company honor graduate. They are considered the top Marines graduating today and have demonstrated the highest potential for future leadership and responsibility in the Marine Corps. The guidons will now be returned to the drill instructors.
honor graduates will now be presented a plaque by the battalion commander, Lieutenant Colonel Smith, and the battalion sergeant major, Sergeant Major Valdez. Ladies and gentlemen, please hold your applause until all honor graduates have been recognized. Present. Hope. Order. Hope. The honor graduate for Platoon 2101 and the series honor graduate is Private First Class Griffin J. Brock from Waukee, Iowa. The honor graduate for Platoon 2102 is Private First Class Eduardo Delgado from Chicago, Illinois. The honor graduate for Platoon 2103 is Private First Class Benjamin D. Larson from Bloomington, Illinois. The honor graduate for Platoon 2105 is Private First Class Cody L. Trauber from Grants Pass, Oregon. The honor graduate for Platoon 2106 and the company honor graduate is Lance Corporal Jacob A. Lorenzo from Santa Ana, California. Lance Corporal Lorenzo is also the recipient of the Chesty Puller Award for his outstanding meritorious performance while in recruit training. And the honor graduate for Platoon 2107 is Private First Class David W. Foss from Queen Creek, Arizona. Ladies and gentlemen, the honor graduates of Company E. The company first sergeant will now give the command to the senior drill instructors to dismiss their platoons. Needless to say, this will be the most welcome command they have received throughout recruit training. Ladies and gentlemen, this concludes today's ceremony.